All right, so here's my really quick demo of the Balaboka uh, text-to-speech app. Um, you can go through the app and uh, get more information if you want to. Essentially, I'm going to look at a few things. So one is, why does mine look different? So just go to view and you have different skins here. And so you can make it look different. The, the main crux of this is getting uh, script and converting that to narration. And so a few things I'll point out here. Uh, one is I'm using SAPI 5. So that's actually going to pull in the voices that you have on your Windows system. Now I installed a few other voices, but I think you're going to get David uh, as a default or maybe there's David and um, Zyra Zero. Um, I installed a few different Microsoft uh, ones. So uh, we're going to go ahead. Let's go ahead and go with um, the Mark Mobile. So you select your voice and you're going to already have two voices to start. That might be fine for you. You can change the rate and the pitch. So um, it's going to change the voice a little bit. And then the volume. I'm just going to paste some text in here that I have from an old script I did. So you can see I've got a lot of text in here. Let me actually um, delete this extra text. So we'll just do a small paragraph. And I can preview this going to do a really quick overview of Articulate Presenter 360 so that So you can see that it works or maybe you can hear that. So if I'm happy with this, then I'm just going to save this as an audio file. So I'm just going to go up here. You can export that as audio. You can file uh, and uh, save audio file. And then you're going to get a WAV or MP3. So that's basically how to output it. I'll show you a couple other things that's kind of nice. So you've got your built-in voices that come with your system. You can install some other voices and, and their website shows you how to do that. Uh, the other thing that's kind of nice, you go to Tools and you do have a um, the Google translation or tr Google uh, narration. So if I paste uh, some text in here and I start playing that, um, I hit save and it'll play it. And I'll get a slightly different voice uh, than I might if I'm using um, the built-in voices. So that gives you a couple of options there. And I think there's like a 5,000 character limit. So quite a few characters, but you can you can play around with that. So you've got basically two pre-built voices and then you can install other voices or you can even use a Google thing and do the voices. Now I'll show you a couple things that are really neat about this. Uh, one is I can paste in a longer script. Now what you'll notice is on this longer script here, I have double space lines. And so I can export this entire script and where there's double space lines, it's going to uh, create a second uh, audio file. So it's going to actually break up my audio. So if I have a really long narration, I can do that. So all I have to do is go to File, um, split and convert to audio file. So when I click on that, you can see the options here. Um, I have a demo folder. So we're just going to go with the um, wave as a default. You can see you've got some other output options. We'll create a subfolder here. And um, you can use a base document name. So I'll call this Tom test. And um, we can do that. And then you can add a number. I like to add a number before the file name so that the, the Files are in sequence. And then you can see your different splitting methods. So you have different ones. I'm going to just use two empty lines. And I'm going to go ahead and do split and convert. And that should give me eight audio files. And you can see um, it's going to do this. And you can see now it's splitting this into eight audio files. Now if I come into my folder that I just created, there's my Tom test folder. And now I have eight audio files. And if I play those, quick overview of Articulate Presenter 360 so that you can see what's included and how So you can see how that works. Again, the audio is not super great, at least the default ones, but you know, these are kind of robotic voices, so it is what it is. Um, one other thing, uh, let me go ahead and delete all of this text here. Control A and we'll hit delete. You can also do a batch conversion, so let, you don't even need to bring everything in here. So let's say I'm going to come up to Tools. I'm going to do a batch converter and it, and I can do the same thing with the splitting. 
So I'm going to uh, open that up. And actually, that's not what I want to do. I want to do this. I want to do the tools and I want to do file splitter. And um, I find my file and I have my output folders and do everything. Select by two empty lines and then it'll output and it does the same thing. So I don't even need to um, open up the document and copy and paste the text in there unless I want to. Now one of the advantages of copying and pasting the text is for example on this, uh, it says in this tutorial we're going to do a really quick overview of Articulate Presenter. Now I might call it 360. Uh, because it's listed like this, it's going to say 360. So when you're listening to the script, you might want to change that. So now I would type it in so it's actually going to read it the way I want it to and not just read the numbers. So that's a really, really quick overview. It's a great little app. It's free. Um, and then you can learn more about how to use it. But for me, you know, I use it for a really quick outputting of text and then I can insert those into my modules.